I X two turn up turn up like the volume of this. Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial about Rec Room Studios. Today we're going over how to make terrain, how to lay the materials on top of the terrain, and how to make grass and all that. So first up, what you want to do is click up here, go on 3D objects, and press on terrain. This will appear one terrain plaid. If you want bigger terrain, I would go for two or three, but for now we're only going to use one. Simply drag the terrain into the middle, so it's kind of like on the platform. If you don't want that, that's fine. You can leave it where it is then. So how to actually use the terrain, you simply press on this little painting, then you go and raise or lower terrain. If you want to, you can also use the sculpt option, but that goes way too fast. Make sure that the strength of the brush is not too high because that might do some problems in the terrain. For making terrain the first time, I would go by for the simple circle because it's the most easiest to use. Simply go a little bit further away and start painting around it. I'm not going to completely paint the terrain today because we're just explaining how to do it. Now that you have your rough terrain, you click up here and you get on smooth height. Press that a couple of times and boom, everything is smooth. Also, you might have this problem where it starts clipping into each other. Simply close both terrain and terrain collider, then open them again. If you're having problems with the actual terrain collider, you can just open it, add component and collider behavior. This might support it a little bit better. To make an actual terrain material that you can use on top of it, you go to create and go into terrain layer. Here you will be asked to input an image that is already down here. So for now, we're going to quickly type in coast because that's a pack that I have downloaded. Click on it. That's it. You have your new terrain. The easiest way to do this is to basically click on this again and then paint texture. This is the pretty. Oh my God. Now there's a get to select the materials you want to use. You go down here, add layer, then add the one you want to use. And there you go. This is how you equip a texture to your terrain. To actually paint in flowers, you go into paint detail and um, go into edit details, add grass flower and then add the texture. You, you can also play around with it and change the color a bit. But when you're done, make sure that your opacity is very low because it's going to spawn in a lot. Click on it once. There you go. If you would have it at one, it would look like this. It's good for massive fields, but if you drag it along, it's going to spawn in way more than you want to. So yeah, there you go. You can then just make flower fields, whatever you want to. And when you actually try to play it, which I will show in a second, always remember to upload and build. And there you go. Now that we're in game, you can see that the grass is moving always. This is because we're using the um, paint detail instead of the paint trees or other painting stuff. So now, and as you can see over here, we have our terrain. Don't ignore, ignore this, <laughs> ignore this. We have our terrain that also works perfectly. You can see I walk up to it and yeah. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and give me some feedbacks in the comments and we'll see you on the next tutorial.